When using your screen printing chemicals, one thing that screen printers sometimes forget to realize is the fact that you can actually take most chemicals and reduce them down with water. We're going to use the example of neutralized screen printing degreaser, a screen frame fabric degreaser, and then also ER35 emulsion remover. Now, the labels typically will say what you can reduce them down to. For, so, for instance, this can be reduced 10 to 1 with water. So, think about using this one part to one part and how much that would cost you versus reducing it down by 10. We're going to do an example right now of showing that in use. So, I have two screens here. I'm going to get these screens wet and then degrease them. We got them wet. Now, I'm going to spray the first screen with pure degreaser. I'm going to take a spray bottle and if you're going to be reducing products you're going to want plenty of spray bottles on hand because without those spray bottles you won't have the ability to reduce them down. So I'm going to spray this on the first screen. Yeah, just a couple squirts right there. Now a degreaser typically goes a long ways anyway. Well then I'm going to take this and I'm going to reduce this one down 10 to 1 with water. In fact, I'm going to get a little bit more than 10 to 1. So I'm going to take this and just with a little bit in the bottom, I'm going to take that and I'm going to fill the entire rest of the bottle up. All right, so put a brand new nozzle on that. Now this is reduced down drastically. Let's spray a couple squirts on this guy and we'll scrub it around. So about four squirts on each one. Let's take our scrub brush. You can see that one I'm scrubbing and it's sudsing up nicely. This one I'm scrubbing and it's sudsing up nicely. So in fact this one even has a little bit more suds on it than this screen right here with the concentrate. So obviously as you can see this one's doing just as good of a job as this one. This one we're much more cost effective in the usage of our chemical. The next product we're going to demonstrate the dilution of is ER35 emulsion remover. This is the most popular and I feel one of the best emulsion removers that Ryanet sells. This product most of the time is used right out of the bottle but can actually be diluted once again 10 to 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to demo that right now. We're going to take some of this, pour it into a container, fill the container up at a 10 to 1 ratio. One other cool thing that you have to keep into consideration when saving money with using your chemicals is your chemicals can actually be used as spray bottles. So instead of having to buy an entire new spray bottle, you can actually use this guy. This is an old ER35 core container as a spray bottle. It's got a cool side measuring tool as well. It's also very heavy duty. So we're going to take this and pour in just a little bit. See it on the side there. And then you can do this measurement by you know, uh, containers with measuring devices on them, or you can also do it by, you know, weight. Then we're going to fill this guy up with water. So we filled our bottle and diluted it 10 to 1. Now, and we have our concentrate, which is right here. We're going to spray both these screens and kind of demonstrate the difference in the washout. Now, let me first premise this by saying your screen, how easily your screen reclaims is a lot of how uh, well it was exposed at the beginning. Basically, if you're underexposing your screens, if they're coming out slimy, they're going to absorb chemical, they're going to chemically lock, and be much harder and more difficult to reclaim than a properly exposed screen. So a properly exposed screen is very important in the ease of use. And I think one of the reasons why a lot of screen printers try to get more powerful chemicals and don't dilute them is because they're not beginning the process with a properly exposed screen, and they feel they need more power to actually blow it out. So let's take this and spray it on here, and then at the same time, let's take the concentrate and spray that on this one. So we'll start with this one, kind of spray it over. Now the way this is typically done is it's sprayed on both sides and then scrubbed with the scrubber. And we'll scrub this screen first and then this screen second. So let's scrub this one now. There we go. Now, I can tell this screen was actually a little bit underexposed as well, so. Now let's take our scrub brush. See that emulsion degrading nicely? 
doing the same thing on the back here. Seeing the moles into gray nice. So now let's do this one. So now let's bust them out with a pressure washer. Let's start with this one first. I'm sure we got enough power going there. Obviously that's reclaiming extremely well. Okay, that one's done. This wasn't the most fair comparison because this actually was built up right here for a white ink print. But you can see right here it's reclining well on the edges when there wasn't more emulsion. So what did we learn? We learned that this screen, it was slightly underexposed, probably due to the thickness of the emulsion versus this screen was actually harder to reclaim with a concentrated. This one reclaimed very nicely with a reduced down and diluted ER35. So one thing that we learned is proper exposure time, extremely important. Underexposed screens are going to be hard to reclaim no matter what you're using. And that a reduced down emulsion remover works just as well as a straight out of the bucket concentrate.